If you've been inside of Dubsado and wondered what a task board is and how it's different from a workflow, grab a seat and get comfy because this video is for you. Welcome back to the Productive Co YouTube channel. My name is Ray, and I am here to help you master Dubsado CRM, the all-in-one client management system that is going to boost your efficiency, impress your clients, and help you increase your profits. In today's video, I'm going to tell you what a task board is, show you how to use them, and explain how they are different from workflows. So let's get started. Task boards are Dubsado's project management feature, and they're different from workflows in that task boards help you manage manual tasks, whereas workflows help you manage automated tasks. So from your dashboard, you can actually see a summary of the upcoming tasks that are assigned to you, but you can also view tasks in the tasks tab. There are three different ways to view tasks in the task tab. By default, it will show you all tasks in a list form. This is going to be tasks assigned to you, assigned to a colleague, or not assigned to anyone at all, as you can see here. If you want to view only your tasks, these are the tasks only assigned to you. You can view those in a list form by selecting My Tasks. And then over here on the boards tab, you can view the different task boards. You can open up each of these boards and see all of the tasks related to that specific board. Now, the way I typically recommend organizing your boards is to have a board per project. So if you have a branding project for Dolly Parton, you would create a board for her. If you have a branding project for Axel Rose, you would create a branding board for him. You can click on the board. Okay, now we're inside of the board. You can see here that there are these little cards. They're sort of like post-it notes and you can rearrange them however you would like. You can drag them into a different order or into a different column. So you can have everything as a checklist if you want just one really long column with different tasks listed, or you can further organize your cards by creating different columns for them to live in. So here I have this start here column and the onboarding column and the offboarding column. So I would put different tasks related to this project in their appropriate column. What's really great about task boards is that you can add them to projects. So you can go to projects, open the project you want to add the board to, and then in the tasks tab, go to project boards. If you already have a board created, you can use this little carrot icon here on the side and select the board you want to add, or you can create a new one. So remember, workflows are a great place to manage the automated tasks, but when you need to manage your manual tasks, you can use task boards in Dubsado. If you'd like any help with workflows, I do have a free five-day e-course called Dubsado Workflow Secrets. I'll link to that below this video so that you can get started right away. If you enjoyed today's video, I would love if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon for notifications. That's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye.